Good morning, everyone. Um, you know, at Microsoft, we're always looking at new innovative ways to really help our clients in the financial industry to not only just reinvent the branch, but really focus on the customer relationship, right? And really look at ways that you can expand the wallet share you're doing with clients, better service clients, and really gain that new clients and bring that new clients into the bank. But did you know, with today, with, with social and mobility, over 70% of client decisions are already made before you even engage the client. So how do you make the most of every client experience? Today I'm gonna to show you one example on how you can leverage Microsoft devices and services technology to enhance the client experience and to really take that one time to go ahead and create that consistent, delightful client experience across all channels. So first I'm gonna log into our, our CRM system at Woodgrove Bank, and I'm a greeter. And as you can see, as a greeter, on my Surface Pro, I can go across and look at the campaigns that are going on in the branch, activity feeds, latest news that's coming in. But I just noticed that Terry Adams just came into the branch. So I wanna go up and greet Terry. So I go up and greet Terry, ask him what brings him into the branch, and he says, you know, I'd like to make a deposit. I just recently, if you've noticed on the activity, had opened an account. I wanna make another deposit. And so one of the things we wanna do is we wanna make these client experiences as interactive as possible. We wanna take down that barrier between you and the client and the branch. And so I, I hand the safers to Terry and he enters his pen. for security reasons. Now I can bring up Terry's information. And I can see Terry's contact information. I can see that he's not only a retail client, but he's also a business client with the bank. Um, let me just do one thing here. And I can go ahead and see the next best actions for Terry. I can see activity feeds coming in, his accounts. Any notes that maybe one of my peers that interacted with him previously have made, so I'm up to speed on interactions and offers. But while we're waiting in line for the client to go ahead and get in front of a teller, one of the things I wanna do is go ahead and look at next best actions. We're always looking at ways to expand the relationship with the client. So in this case, I'll go ahead and first ask him, Terry, are you aware of our mobile banking? And he says, you know, I am, but I just haven't taken the time to enroll. Well, how about I enroll you right now? You know, I verify his phone number, I activate it, now he's enrolled in mobile banking. Well, he's also there, I said, did you realize that you have, have a, um, a fixed rate deposit come and, come and do for renewal? We have a good current rate right now at 1.8, you know, if it's, if it's okay with you, I can take care of that for you. Again, servicing the client while they're waiting. And lastly, I noticed something that's really important, and that is that we don't get enough face time with our clients especially when it comes to their investments. And so in this case, I noticed that he has an investment review coming up within the next 30 days. And I say, you know, I noticed that we have um, one of our relationship managers is available right now. I could, I could put you in front of him. And he says, you know, I really don't have time for that today, but I might have time on Friday. So I go in and I into the CRM system. I look at Friday and I can real time select Friday. But what's even more important, if he wanted to go ahead and look at a home loan, as you can see, the relationship managers that have that expertise and are available change as it relates to the service. But in this case, he really wants to focus on investment advice. And I notice on Friday, Jim, Jim Hans is available at 9 a.m., so I select that, and I go to confirm the appointment. The other thing he makes me aware of is he doesn't just want to look at an investment review, but he wants to retire a little bit earlier. So he wants to be a little more aggressive in his investment selections. So I go ahead and I book the appointment. Now it's going out through CRM and booking the appointment to that relationship manager's calendar so that the meeting will be set for Friday. And now, now he can go on, make his deposit, leave the branch, and I can move on to our next client, Mike Nash, that just came into the branch. So now we fast forward to Friday. Now I'm a relationship manager. Remember, I said we want to create the best client experience across every role in the bank and across channels. So now I'm a relationship manager getting ready to log into my CRM. I log in in the morning and I can see my clients because as a relationship manager, spending time with my clients is my number one object. So with that, I can also see activity feeds of what's happening with that client. We can see that the, the financial review is now set, that's coming up, campaigns, latest news. So I go back and I, and I go ahead and I get ready to prepare like any good salesperson for my first client review. And I bring up Terry Adams' information. Again, I can see Terry, but I can also see what branches he uses, 
I, in addition to that, I can also go ahead and looking at his information, see his net worth, his activity feeds, accounts, and again, notes and relevant offers. This is tailored in the CRM system to the role of the individual based on that person's, the importance of that person's role with the client. So I come back and I get ready for the financial review. But before I do that, I want to call and confirm it. So I could leverage Link, or in this case, I'm connecting via the internet to Skype, to go ahead and confirm the appointment with Terry. Now that the appointment's confirmed, I go out and conduct the financial review. Now this is the part that I think is most important. When you're interacting with a client, you really don't want, again, that barrier between you. Now I can real time with Terry in discussing his financial goals, review his current retirement goals, and he says, you know, there's a couple things that have changed. I do want to maintain my current lifestyle, but I also want to retire at 55. And if you look, today's in a balanced portfolio. When I click retire at 55, it automatically adjusts the portfolio to an aggressive growth to enable him to achieve that goal. But in talking with Terry further, he says, you know, I could probably give up the travel to Europe, but I really don't want to go that aggressive. I'm not comfortable. So we select a growth strategy instead to still enable him to achieve his early retirement goal, but also be comfortable with where he's at in his investments. So now we go ahead and we confirm that. Up comes the terms and conditions. I sign, Terry signs, approves that change, and now it's going out and changing this portfolio mix on the back end system. As a relationship manager, I've now taken care of the needs that Terry's had in his financial review, and I can get ready and prepare for my next appointment. What you've seen today is just one example of how you can leverage Microsoft's devices and services technology to help you enable to reinvent your branch as well as create that consistent customer client experience across all channels. I invite you to stop by the Microsoft booth where you'll not only be able to see scenarios like this, but you'll also be able to see things on how you can take discretionary spends that come in. So say that your car breaks down and a client needs to change that portfolio where a client can do it interactively over the cloud using our Azure service remotely with the relationship manager. So again, we're gonna to continue to expand these type of services to enable you better service the client, delight your clients, and create a client for life. Thank you for your time today.